I thought about it. I thought about using the gym for the first time in a while since it's free. Still debating that, Alden. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm at the gym every single day, so Ooh, it wouldn't have mattered. I knew that was coming. Mm, I knew well. it. Uh, look, we do have some slightly better air quality, but we also have been uh, dealing with some heavy rain across uh, the region. Not so much here in the metro area. We did have some steady light rain, gave us about a tenth of an inch, but the far more active weather has been to our west, where there is tremendous amounts of rain falling in parts of western Kentucky, where they do need it. Now seeing that rain making its way through the Bowling Green region, and these have been tremendously electric storms with over 6,600 lightning strikes in that red box there, and the last Last 30 minutes and frankly there's more than that once you include that activity that's moving towards the Kentucky and Tennessee state line. We also have some extra activity up to our northwest at the moment. Bedford, Paoli, parts of Du Bois County seeing some extra rain and a couple of thunderstorms. That is not severe and it's also shown a slight weakening trend here over the last hour. You can see it's lost a lot of those deep shades of red, but Jasper, I expect you'll see another heavy downpour here within about the next 30 minutes. After we see this rain exit, we'll keep an eye on the potential potential for a second round of showers and storms to potentially make their way into our area later this afternoon and evening. We'll have to see what this area of thunderstorms in western Illinois is going to be doing. At the moment, it's trekking almost due eastward, but you can see that there's a bit of a line here. It'll curve perhaps as we head into the later afternoon hours. So there's a lot going on that we're going to have to keep a close eye on. But for the meantime, all of those clouds have really kept our temperatures down. Here's a look at future cast as we head into this late afternoon afternoon and evening. Notice that activity that I just showed you in a western Illinois curves and misses the metro area, but it will still impact possibly some of our far western counties heading into this evening. If it continues on a bit of a weakening trend, then our severe weather chances will be lower. But notice how clouds still stay fairly thick. That would keep our temperatures down quite a bit today and only into the lower or middle 80s. Now for Friday, we could see some more early morning showers, but much like today, cloud cover is going Going to be important by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, seeing fairly warm temperatures near 80 degrees here in the metro. But if we have any more thunderstorms try to push through in the early afternoon, we could see a wide range of temperatures where parts of southern Indiana only in the 70s, while areas in Kentucky where you have or anywhere with sunshine upper 80s to the lower 90s. So it's a tricky forecast to be certain. But even if you don't have high heat tomorrow, it's still going to be on the very humid side. In fact, some of our southern counties do have a heat advisory that'll take effect for tomorrow. Heading into our weekend, Saturday morning, 730. We'll be watching for another line of showers and thunderstorms to be pushing through the area. It's an unusually wet weather pattern for late June and soon to be early July, but it is helping to improve our drought status here. After that rain passes early on Saturday, we should see skies clear and then temperatures getting back into the upper 80s and lower 90s. So I've knocked down our temperatures just a handful of degrees for Friday and Saturday cooling off a little bit more as we head into the start of next week. 86 on Monday. Independence Day looking to cooperate with us. Mostly sunny seasonal heat there in the upper 80s. And although the forecast is fairly hot for the first week of July, this is normal July heat. Our average high, as you see in the top right corner there, 88. So we're hovering on either side of normal, which is good in the sense that we don't have any excessive heat showing up for right now.